Hi, I'm back again and I want to show you some lips this time. Everyone is loving the 3D lip look or kind of like the Kylie Jenner look. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create that in a little more natural, wearable, beautiful kind of way. So we're going to start off with a lip stain instead of a lip liner. Lip liner tends to be a little chalky and kind of harsh looking. So this is actually a uh, CoverGirl Outlast. It's 445. It's cinnamon. It's my favorite color. It is literally best on any skin tone. So if you want some longevity with your lips, if you're going to be going to a party, weddings, things like that, and you want to, you know, if your lip gloss comes off still look like you don't have new mouth, this is actually um, amazing. So we're going to start by lining the lip. Susie has a really beautiful Cupid's bow, it's called here, and I, I've actually prepped her with some bronzer um, right on the top of her lip. It adds a little shimmer, so that's going to create that push and pull effect. So we're going to create a V right on top of her lip from the top point down to the middle. This is just kind of connect the number so it makes it easier. Um, sometimes people say just line the lips, but I'm actually going to show you how to line it like kind of like one, two, three style. So we're going to create a V right there. So then if you think of her lip from here to here, you just connect that line, but we want to pull the lip up slightly and use the side of the, the lip pen here. So we're just going to really feather down and just create a very soft, sh shadowy kind of look instead of like a harsh line. You don't have to connect it all the way because we're really just trying to create like a very soft outline. By putting it to the side instead of drawing with the tip, it just kind of diffuses it a little bit and makes it look a little bit more natural. So we'll come to the other side. I'm using the kind of side of the pen again. Create a very soft look. If you feel like it gets a little thicker, you can just kind of dab it. It's not like one of those uh, colors that once it's on there, it stays for good. So you can kind of manipulate it a little bit if you want to. So if you feel like it looks a little dark, you can kind of dab it with your finger. And then we're gonna go just right along the bottom and create just a, a soft line. And then do the same thing, just kind of lightly connect the corner of her mouth to the bottom. Notice I'm leaving it open in the middle and that's gonna be what's gonna give us our shadowing effect. Okay, so just a really soft outline on the outside. And then you wanna take a matte nude lipstick. This is MAC uh, Myth. And then we're gonna just, instead of like rubbing it on or like painting it off the brush, we're really just gonna kinda of stipple it onto our lips. And we're not gonna cover that outer edge of the lip liner. So see, we're just kinda of going right on the inside of that. And this is a really light color, it's almost like a it's almost like a milky color, so it goes a long way, so you really just need a little tiny bit. So now we're creating a, a kind of like a push and pull. And then you always want to finish off with a, a, with a very kind of a, kind of a shiny see-through. This is a peach, it's a matte color again, it's Love Nectar. But I'm going to start just going back and forth over top of that kind of nude lipstick, but I'm not going to hit that lip liner area of her lip. We're going to leave that kind of bare so you can still see it. right up to it okay then press not rub press not. and then the little trick that I like to do is then I just use my fingers to kind of very lightly push the lip gloss into the lip liner so that you don't cover it up and close your lips so then that creates a 3d pop thank you Susie thank you you're welcome